Welcome everyone, this is Josh Rubin from EastWestHealing.com. Now, there's a lot of thought processes out there on how to detoxify estrogen. Now, I have to say I don't agree with any of them in regards to using calcium deglucurate or DIM. We have to look at why someone has estrogen dominance. Now, I've talked about this before. I don't really feel most of the time that people have estrogen dominance. What they have is either a progesterone deficiency, a vitamin A deficiency, or they have blood sugar handling issues and they're hypothyroid and they have recirculating estrogen, which 99% of the time that is what it is. And taking progesterone will do absolutely nothing. Now, we know that with hypothyroidism, one of the reasons people have hypothyroidism is because recirculating estrogen, which blocks inactive thyroid hormone being converted to active thyroid hormone. And it takes up those receptor sites. We also know that when we have recirculating estrogen, it perpetuates hypothyroidism. So it's twofold, it's a vicious cycle. Now, we know that people recommend calcium deglucurate, but the problem is it might detoxify estrogen, right, and help the liver, but it actually helps to in, um, detoxify certain androgens such as testosterone. Now, if we're a human, we don't want that to happen because it can lower our libido and lead to many symptoms. A lot of people recommend DIM, which we don't as well, and it's good at balancing good and bad estrogens but it does nothing to detoxify them as well as balance aromatase enzymes so it doesn't basically prevent the conversion of testosterone to estrogen so we have to look at that now our philosophy is hitting it from threefold we have to regulate our blood sugar to regulate insulin levels to regulate estrogen levels because when we do that in a sense, we prevent the recirculation of estrogen, and we do that with metabolic foods and food frequency. The second is we have to use a raw carrot, which has a fiber that humans really can't digest, and that fiber kind of mops up estrogen and prevents the recirculating of it while you're creating that foundation with foods and frequency in that blood sugar regulation. The third is the use of curcuminoids, which actually help the body not only detoxify estrogen and help the liver and take the burden off the liver and helps with detoxification, but it balance that, balances aromatase enzymes to allow testosterone to go up as well as estrogen to be you know, detoxified. So in a sense, when we hit it from all three angles, we're actually helping to support the thyroid and thyroid hormone conversion.